Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're actually going to be looking at the CarPow algorithm. So we've seen a lot of coins pop up with the CarPow algorithm lately, and I just want to go through and kind of talk about how it's taking over in cryptocurrency mining, why it's taken over, what kind of coins we can mine, how to actually maximize for CarPow algorithms in the future going forward, as I think that there'll be more coins joining onto the CarPow algorithm trend. And hopefully you guys can learn a little bit more about the CarPow algorithm. So we know that CarPow came from ProgPow, which was formerly X16R and then X16RV2. This came from Ravencoin and the algorithm is intended to address the centralization of mining caused by ASIC hardware. So basically what it's intended to do is to be ASIC resistant. Now Ravencoin designed CarPow algorithm to protect against the ASIC resistance and the initial algorithm was X16R. I'm just giving you some backstory on it. The community has carried out two algorithm forks to date to mitigate the potential efficiency improvements of ASIC miners compared to the over-the-counter consumer grade equipment. The current CarPow algorithm aims to overcome the problem of centralization of mining by utilizing over-the-counter graphics processing units or GPUs, memory and compute capabilities. This is intended to allow most consumer grade GPUs hardware to mine Ravencoin. The CarPow algorithm was derived from ProgPow and ETHash with modifications to improve the distribution of Ravencoin to everyone. So I believe that the ETHash is based on Kakak and the ProgPow in a mining sense is nearly the same as the CarPow algorithm in terms of the mega hash and efficiency that you get when you're switching between them. So it doesn't necessarily matter in a mining sense, but there are some underlying improvements that have been made for CarPow algorithm. So we all know that it's supposed to be ASIC resistant and we've seen actually over the past, I'd wanna say six or seven months, all these AI coins pop up with the CarPow algorithm. So when we're looking on this list of the CarPow algorithm coins, we have Ravencoin, obviously, because that's the first one to implement it. I believe Neoxa was next, so that's a game platform. Then we have Meowcoin, which is kind of like a charity coin, I suppose. Then Claw AI, and then Paprika Coin, Satox Coin. I don't know too much about these two. And then we have Neur AI again. And then we have Game Pass, which is kind of like the same as Neoxa. And then we have AI Power Grid, Friend Coin, and Crypto Luck. So I'm discounting the Crypto Luck, Friend Coin, and this Satox Coin and Paprika Coin. So the main ones that we've seen pop up that have had good profitability in the past and up until now is Raven Coin, Neoxa, Meow Coin, Claw AI, Neur AI, Game Pass is kind of there, and obviously the newest one being AI Power Grid. If we head over to Hashrate NO, we can see in terms of the profitability, if we click here, there's some Alephium, some Pyrin, some Bitcoin Gold, but there's also AIPG interlaced into there with terms of revenue. It's actually got highest revenue for a lot of these cards as we scroll down. This Xano one is on the ProgPow algorithm, so it's kind of associated with CarPow as well. But what we can see is the highest revenue is coming from mostly CarPow algorithms slash ProgPow algorithms. So we've seen a lot of coins actually adopt this algorithm because previously around... A year ago or two years ago, CarPow was a standalone algorithm with no other coins basically developing on it. And now over time, we're seeing more developers opt in to use CarPow when they're going for their hashing algorithm. So obviously, the biggest reason that we just read then is because of the ASIC resistance. Now, there are some also underlying things that the CarPow algorithm does pretty well, which you'd want to actually use the CarPow algorithm for miners. So, so CarPow we all know is a derivative of ProgPow algorithm and represents a significant leap in Ravencoin's algorithmic approach, tailored specifically for Ravencoin, but we're also seeing other coins adopt it right now, designed to level the playing field between ASIC and GPU miners, and I just want to highlight this, with a particular focus on enhancing efficiency for AMD GPUs. So, whilst they're also closing the gap from ASICs to GPUs, they're also closing the gap between GPU miners. So historically, a lot of algorithms would perform better on NVIDIA GPUs. And with AMD, they were slightly carrying behind in terms of efficiency until these ProgPow and CarPow algorithms started coming along. And then we had a place for AMD cards to actually start mining on. Now, they did have Dynex, but obviously there was some exploits going on there. So we didn't have miners for that for a while. However, part of the plan with CarPow is obviously to close that gap between NVIDIA and AMD 
it'd be very beneficial to have more hash rate on your network. So obviously you're going to specify for more hash rate. So those miners out there that used AMD cards would migrate over to your network because it was more efficient. So there are some good points of having a closed gap between NVIDIA and AMD, which we'll get into slightly more later on in the video. The shift between car power is more than a technical upgrade. It moves towards democratizing the mining process. By minimizing efficiency gap between different types of mining hardware, it aims to prevent any single group from monopolizing the mining process. So in theory, you know, you could say that Nvidia had a monopoly on the mining process in terms of GPU algorithms, because Nvidia just way outperformed a lot of the AMD cards when it came to GPU mining. And obviously one of the biggest networks that we had was the Ethereum network, which Nvidia held a lot of monopoly on. At the heart of the transition to car power is the goal of maintaining the security integrity of the Ravencoin network, and it ensures remain secure against potential threats and vulnerabilities. So that's just talking about how it also secures the network. Here are some Ravencoin algorithm specifications. So it goes through a bunch of things that they've changed, what the impact on mining is. I'll leave this link in the description if you wanna actually check it out. However, when we're looking into the future and we're talking about GPU mining, this video is probably mainly focused on AMD cards. So if we click on AMD cards here, we can actually see in profitability, the highest is Bitcoin gold here on the 7900 XT. However, if we go to revenue, you'll see that pretty much everything apart from these top ones, if we click AMD again, pretty much everything in terms of revenue is on AIPG. So not necessarily in profitability, but revenue is on a car power algorithm or a prog power algorithm. So when it comes to mining, if we just click on Xano right here, you can see we have AI Power Grid. Let's open that up and then let's look for a prog power algorithm and click on Xano right here. If we go to benchmarks, we can pretty much see that they line up 59 mega hash and on the 3090 Ti here, we have 66 mega hash. And then if we wanna to go to the RX 7900 XTX, we have 54. RX 7900 XTX 58. So car power slightly does better than prog power algorithms for GPUs. I'm just showing you an example of how they're kind of similar in terms of the mega hash and efficiency. So when we're talking about a list of coins, if we click on coins here, we can see how many are actually car power algorithms. So we have AI power grid here. If we scroll down, we have near AI, we have Ravencoin there, we have Claw AI, and then we have to scroll down a little bit more just to get into the other car power algorithms. Neoxa right there. But the main thing that I'm seeing is that we're more focused on AI coins for car power. And this is probably because the hashing algorithm utilizes a lot of the GPU. And this is why there's higher temperatures for these GPUs when you're mining on a car power algorithm, as opposed to like a Blake 3 or an ETH hash which is slightly lower temperatures is because it doesn't use as much of the GPU in terms of the memory and the core. And if we're talking about the future of mining here, I definitely think that we're going to see more coins jump on this car power algorithm. So how can we actually get ahead of that and start to optimize for these coins that are going to offer profitability? As we saw on the list there, the highest revenues and some of the highest profitabilities are on car power algorithms. So this means that there's going to be more coins that are going to be jumping onto the car power algorithm. So you want to optimize for that. And one of the best ways is obviously through AMD cards, as we've talked about previously. Right here, we have the 6800 XT. And in revenue, the top one is Pepe Pau. However, the volume and emissions are low. But as you can see below that, the top ones are AI Power Grid. Then it's Claw AI. Then it's Neur AI. Then it's Paprika Coin, Neoxa. Firo Pow, and then it goes into a bunch of other coins. There's Game Pass there and Meow Coin there. So what we're seeing is for pretty much all AMD GPUs, the highest revenues and the profits are coming from these car power algorithms. So that would lead us to believe that if more coins are actually utilizing the car power algorithm, then we'd want to start getting into AMD GPUs, mainly the ones that are the most efficient on the car power algorithm so we can actually mine these coins that offer profitability. Now these are popping up all the time, mainly the AI coins, which are doing very well for AMD cards. So if you do have AMD rigs, I'd suggest only strictly mining on car power algorithms. And these are the most efficient algorithms to go on. As you can see here, the hash rate is basically the same for all of these algorithms. So 36.11 on the 
on pretty much all of the car power ones. If we scroll in down, this is still car power. Fear of power is different. If we keep scrolling down, game pass is the same. Meow coin is the same. There's a drop off for the prog power. Satox coin is the same. And then we get down into stuff that's not car power apart from Raven coin. So the good thing also about this is that you already have a load of overclocks out there and people have overclocked the car power algorithm pretty efficiently. So there's going to be tons of overclocks out there for all of these coins and you just apply them as new coins pop up with the car power algorithm and hopefully you make some profitability and going forward if you're buying AMD GPUs I would look to start mining on car power algorithm coins. Hopefully you guys gain some insight on the car power algorithm and how it's going to change going forward in the future as in more coins are going to adopt it and what mining hardware we want to specify for if we're going to look into maximizing profitability on those coins. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this.